Hello guys. People often say that there are no fully funded scholarships in the UK. Well, that is because they do not know where to find those fully funded scholarships and they do not know where or how to apply for them. So just take a look at your screen. This is a fully funded scholarship for either a PhD that's a 3.5 or a 1 plus 3.5 that's a master's plus a PhD which is fully funded. You get your tuition covered, both international students and home students. Though it says your home rate, it says at the bottom the international fee waivers are available. So you also get your international fee waived by the university. So this is the kind of opportunity I'll be talking to you about today. And there are several opportunities like this. The name of this one is called SEEDAC and there are several participating universities. So this is the official page of the scholarship awarding body. And these are the participating universities. There are about six of them. And that's not all. There's another scholarship here or scholarship awarding body with about eight participating universities giving similar opportunities. So if you're looking for fully funded scholarships, masters and PhD for the coming academic year, I think you want to take a look at this. So welcome to my YouTube channel. It is Victor once again. It is another day and we have another scholarship. If you're joining us for the first time, you're welcome. But where have you been? There are hundreds of videos already on this YouTube channel on fully funded scholarships from around the world. So look around, I'm sure you find something that catches your interest. And if you're a returning viewer, returning subscriber, thanks for coming back, thanks for the constant support, and I hope you get a scholarship sooner than later. So let's get into the gist of today. So the scholarship we're looking at is Seed Ac. So it's a fully funded scholarship at six participating universities. And there is a bonus scholarship as well. It's called the Midlands Graduate School Scholarship. Also for master's and PhD. This one is at, the, at eight participating universities. So first things first, how do you apply? I strongly advise you to go to the participating university websites and see the courses that are available and then the application procedure as well. So I've opened one of these. I think I opened the one for University of Surrey. So this is Surrey University. And that was where we started. So we've confirmed it is either a PhD or a master's plus a PhD. So the fees are covered. You get a stipend of 21, over 21,000. If you're an international student, you also international fees also get covered, so do not worry. The university covers the remainder, while the scholarship body, the SID Act, covers home fees. So you wouldn't have to pay anything. That's just the summary. So for this university, these are the areas they are prioritizing. Business, hospitality, economics, linguistics, politics, psychology, sociology, and interdisciplinary topics. So for, this is for this university. Other universities might have different emphasis. So it's good you check the other participating universities like Kent, King, um, Kingston, Reading, um, Royal Holloway, and then um, Sussex. So these are some of the themes that this university is prioritizing. And these are like the contact persons for the different departments. So in case you want to ask questions, these are the persons you contact. So it's open to both international students and home students. But just note that they'll be prioritizing their, international, their home students rather than international students. So if there are 10 spots, they'll be giving three spots to international students, which is well, understandable. It could be increased. But understandable. So how do you apply? You're often advised to apply first to the participating university before you apply to the scholarship. And to apply to the participating university, you need a supervisor. So you have to go to any of these departments, look for a professor doing something you're interested in, 
send the professor an email asking for supervision and you need the professor's letter to apply for the scholarship. So tell the professor about the scholarship. Right, yes, you want to do a PhD or a master's plus a PhD at this university because of these reasons, but you're also applying for this scholarship and you need their blessing and their support to get the scholarship. So you need to contact them while you're applying. And then while you after you've gotten the um, the, the blessing from the supervisor and you apply to the university, then you return to apply for the scholarship. The scholarship has its own application document as well. So it says here, for this university, this is the deadline, the sorry for the PhD course. And then for the, um, what they call it, the send act, they also have their own deadline as well. So that, I think the deadline is kind of similar for this university. Other universities might be different, so check closely for other universities. Check closely for other universities. So we can check the other universities ourselves and see. Probably let's go to, um, let's go to one of the universities here. Let's go to University of Reading. So University of Reading. So it took us to like the main page of the university. So you have to search out the scholarship. It's called Seed Ack. So we've searched it out. Let's get more information and see how Reading might be different from um, Surrey University. Okay, so general information here. So these are the areas Reading is prioritizing. Agric, um, food, economics, um, architecture, business management, development studies, economics, education, geography, linguistics, politics, psychology. So you scroll down, you still see what they give here, okay? And this is, this, it also says that you can also do a master's and a PhD, or there's a limited number for Reading in particular. And these are the masters that you can do. Are they eligible? So let's scroll down. Also for international students, even though they reminded you that only 30% will be given to international students. So 30% of the sports, not 30% of the stipend. You're going to get your full stipend, your full tuition cover as well. It's just the number would be, um, the home students will be prioritized and be given more. So these are the contact persons for the different departments in case you need to contact them to ask more questions. So you need to apply for a place as well. At Reading, I think the application is quite similar. So apply, look for a supervisor, and then, and before you proceed to apply to um, CEDAC, like you have to be nominated by a supervisor or recommended by a supervisor. And Reading has a different deadline. I think Sorry said in January, but Reading is saying in December. So. Be aware of that deadline, the deadline, the deadline disparities. So you can read this on your own and see where you fit in. And fortunately, there are contact persons. You can ask further questions on what to do, find a supervisor, how to apply to the university, and then um, go to um, SIDAC and then apply. I did say that this is not the only scholarship. We also have this one which is the Midlands Graduate School, ESRC DTP. Once again, go to one of the participating universities. Let's go to Warwick, my alma mater. So this is Warwick and Warwick is also stating the um, courses you can apply for. So it's saying master's plus PhD funded or master's only. And these are some of the courses you can apply for. So in case you're interested in area studies, that's like um, African politics, Indian politics, Chinese politics. So you can apply for the master's and PhD or just the PhD here um, at the international politics and international studies department. Once again, I believe you always need like a supervisor there 
giving you their blessing, supporting your work, and most importantly, like giving you a letter to say yes. I'll be supporting this. Put this. Put your application for the scholarship, and I will support your application. So these are the different departments and what they're sponsoring. Economics, economic and um, social history is also saying master's plus PhD. Economics is just saying only PhD. So I want to also put that into um, cognizance, also take that into cognizance as well. So you can navigate and see how best to apply. What a number of you might be complaining, oh, my field is not here. What do I do? It doesn't cover my field. I'm doing chemistry. I'm doing biology. The good thing about the scholarship, as I said in the previous video, is that there seems to be every there seems to be something for every course. So in case you cannot find a course here, you can simply type from Google 3.5 or 1 plus 3.5. PhD Studentship UK and put your course, let's say chemistry. And then you see the different universities offering, like there's one in Strathclyde, there's one at Cambridge offering um, PhD studentship in your field. There's one in Birmingham as well, one in Queen Mary, one in Imperial College. So you can get more response. We can put the one plus as well. So those who want to do a master's and then automatically be upgraded to a PhD. So you can look for, there's one at York, one at Birmingham, Strathclyde, Sussex is doing something as well, Cardiff, St. Andrews. So use this technique and you might just find something for your field as well. Liverpool, Manchester, Sheffield, Edinburgh. So this is the period guys, this is the period. Start unearthing these opportunities for yourself. This is at Southampton. Southampton University. You can see what I mean here by the 1 plus 3.5. This is yet another opportunity. Of course, it is left to you and your own resourcefulness to dig up these kinds of opportunities for your area of interest and um, for your future goals. So that is it guys, fully funded masters and PhD in the UK. Whenever anyone tells you that there are no scholarships in the UK, they don't give you full scholarships, they give you just 2,000 pounds and 3,000 pounds and send you on your way. Tell them, oh, you've not seen this guy's channel. He actually shares fully funded scholarships. In fact, you get both a masters and a PhD in one bundle. So I'll be leaving a link to these opportunities, both the one, the send arc and then the what is it called? The um, Midlands as well, scholarships. So navigate and as usual, I wish you good luck. And that's it guys. We cannot wait to celebrate you. This is the application season. So get to work, start doing your own bit and I will see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now and do not, do not forget to subscribe. Cheers.